Hi, my name is Kamen to my 100% walkthrough of Assassin's Creed Origins. On this video we are going to be doing the side mission, The Rites of Anubis. Okay, so let's look at where we are first of all. We've got gear to do. We've got bow. I think we've got a light bow that's better than the one we've got. Let's have a look at it. Oh, I'm in Predator bow. We need to re-look at that from the light bow point of view. There it is. Oh yeah, that is better than the one we've got, look. So we will put that one on, definitely. That'll be good. Then we're going to put... Uh, look at the printer bow. I think we might have a printer bow better than the one we got as well, actually. Let's have a look. Yes, we have. So we'll put on the new printer bow as well. What else have we got? We've got, is it swords? I think it's a spear. Oh, we've got those t twin swords, they're rubbish. I don't think there's anything heavy there. I don't know why I stopped going through it there. I must have got interrupted or done something with it, but it's over here anyway. Keep going and you'll find it's on, uh, it's a spear, I believe. Yeah, we've just passed it. And there's a shield as well. But the shield ain't as good either. It's a, that shield there, but it's not as good as the one we've got. So we'll leave it as it is. Okay. We've got four ability points. I must have forgotten to do one. We're going to do the shield charge there, and we're going to put it on uh, hijack here. And that will be those two. Done. And now we will make our way to the next mission and we are coming all the way down here into the Saquanome area and there is there the rights of Anubis and I believe we're going to be we'll be going for a new area as well but first we're going to fast travel to here and you'll see us jump off of here and get there now on the way here we got attacked by numerous bandits in fact we got extra XP for clearing bandits on this bit but again I've left it, it I've left the video sped up because it's literally just killing bandits so here we go we'll head our way over this way here are the bandits first one comes over to ever get me get your sword and I took him out like that then more came yep yeah, another one we'll take his stuff as well and another one so we'll get him he's running away from us but he, so he should he's now dead got more of them around and there you go it says, it says bandit There's loads of them around, we're going to take them out. Oh, this one here is last. Oh, they got him. Okay, so now we've cleared those bandits, we can head back towards the area that we're going to. So just keep going, and eventually you'll come to a new settlement area. It's quite a ride. Here it is, and it's called, I think it's called Natria. Natria. Right in here. Now, Barak, we've as we're about to discover, Bayek has been here before. Oh God. It is. Quiet. We hear you. And he'll talk to this lady here. And then follow her. You are either very brave or very foolish, setting foot back here. Nefertari, isn't it? A thousand blessings are long overdue. Bastard! Bastard! Naked ear that! That was Rujek's wife. Did you expect anything less?
this way, Bayek. And bring along your thousand blessings. You will need them. I feel bad for her. But it had to be done. You look well. Better than the last time I found you. Are you just better at killing now? Rujek was only the beginning. Yes, your hunt. The Heron. Where are you taking me? To make amends with Anubis. Amends? I do not know what you're talking about. <laughs> of course. How could you? You left the moment you woke. You know all the natron for Egypt is collected here. We send it mostly to Memphis to cover the bodies of the dead. Look at me. No, you're unwell. Natron has other uses, though. I could use it to disinfect a wound. Or wash the stains of blood off my hands, for example. It looks better, Neb. I will have one of my aides bring something for the pain. And my brother? Recovering. He needs rest. You do not need to remind me. Why are so many of your people ailing? Because Anubis is displeased. Ever since you left, the torches by his shrines have lost their flame. We are no longer protected. From what? The wrath of Anubis? Whatever it is, we have suffered grave injuries trying to reignite them. Some have even vanished. It has become clear that Anubis demands your appeal and yours alone. Simba out. Here. And a kite. I'll ignite the torches and end this curse, or omen, or whatever it is. You would do well to, if you ever hope to appease Anubis and gain my pardon. Sophia. Give some frankincense to the men at the pool, would you? I don't need to tell you to be careful. There are three shrines. One to the south, one atop the natural well, and one inside the bent pyramid. You know your way to that one. Okay, so once you've listened to all of that and done all that, we can now send Senu up to find these f torches. The first one is over here. And so we'll make our way over to it. So, as you can see, this is the place where he found Rudjek, the heaven, the first one he killed. So, we'll climb up here, and we're heading to the first torch. One of the torches of Anubis should be here. I climbed up here, but I don't know why, because I didn't need to. It's over the other side. It's, it's on this side, look. You can see it there. The marker for it. Anyway, there it is. So let's go down and sort out this torch first. Interact with it when you get there. This torch has fallen over. Where's the head? And now you get an investigation area, so have a little investigation. This fence is broken. Is there a struggle? Jump down the rocks. <laughs> and you'll see more. There's blood here. Someone fell. Or was pushed. What's the second bit? Jump into the water, you can see them. Hieroglyphs on the water. 
first one is there. Kataria was not exaggerating. This one died trying to light the torch. And then duck under. But if you dive under, you'll find the last bit of the torch, which is all you need to do to finish the investigation. There's the torch head. It must have fallen from the ledge when the torch was tipped over. Okay, so get the torch head that we have, climb back up, and repair the torch. There we go. Climb back up and repair the torch. There it is. And then light it with your torch. Jumps. This should do it. All I need to do now is light it. And so he does exactly that. He lights it. We'll light it with our torch. I honor your name. And now we're gonna go. Yeah. We're gonna speed it up again, but call the horse when you're ready. So the second one is a hyena lair. Well, it's in a hyena lair anyway, which means we get to clear the hyena lair as well. This was not the right way to go, by the way, just so as you know. Do not jump down here with your horse. You're better off just running down without your horse. But hey, didn't pay attention to myself. Up we go. And head towards those rocks over there. But you will see lots of hyenas around. And again, I've left, actually, as the hyenas start attacking, I've left the video sped up because it's just about hyenas coming forward until we get nearer there. There's a lot of them though. They all, so be aware of that. There's a lot of hyenas around. Pick up as many skins as you can. You might be able to do some crafting in a minute. I've oh, got one there with a fast quick bow. Again, more of them coming. And again, we got them. Send up Senu, and you'll see actually where the torch is. But if you come closer, you'll find that it's a hyena lair. There we go. Okay, so we're going to try and take this out. Oh, here come some more of them. Make sure you get rid of these hyenas. And then, if I were you, I would use your bow down here to kill the uh, main hyena, which is that one. And he's dead, so we've now cleared the hyena there. It's sat quite low. Left. I don't think I hit this one clearly. He moved his head, look. Ugh. So we'll take him out again. And one more. Can't miss it again, he ducked. The shrine. The torches must be here. There is blood on these linens. Someone hung these. Okay, so once you've done that, you've got the treasure here. There's a little treasure here you can pick up. Investigate this meat if you want to. Oh, this rotting meat gives off an attractive stench. There's someone knowing predators here. And then, on to the torch itself, which is over here. But again, if you look here, you'll see charms. Charms of Anubis. Someone has put these here, but why? And light the torch, which this time is okay. Get 
gatekeeper of the Duat. I honor your name. That was no simple task. Right. Uh, of course, he's a here. So we've got one last place to go to, and that is the Bent Pyramid of Senefu. Which is there, look. So right down towards it. I don't think we get attacked by anybody, but I forgot to speed up the video. But it's not very far, so it's okay. Round to this side, and you can see the opening there of the pyramid. If you use Senu, that will point out where the torch is. So in we go. We're going to climb up and go through there. And then, to clear this location, all we've got to do is loot one treasure. Which we are going to do. Can I get up there? No, not quite, but I can get a better start from there, so we will. Up we go. There we go. And in. Someone has been here recently. Get out your torch. And there's, there's this. Oh. It's locked. There must be some way through. It can't move it. That's so backtrack, back out of the pyramid. There must be another way inside the tomb. And this time we're going to go over to the north side. This is the west side. We're going to slide down. <laughs> we're going to jump on our horse and ride around to the north side Whoa. of the pyramid. Which is just around the corner here. And at the floor you'll see there's an opening Whoa. as well to this one. So we're going to go in. Now, there are snakes in that room ahead of us. Just bear that in mind. There are snakes. If you walk a bit further you'll see them if you're using your torch. You can see them on the floor in front of me. So, I decided to do something I've never done before. I used to firebomb. Here we go. And I just bombed the ball. Like this. And the snakes were sorted. I went in a bit gingerly because I wasn't sure I'd got them all, but I had. So yeah, we've done all that. Now it's time to climb up through this hole. And then in again. Climb up the wall. Okay, climb up the wall. Climb up the wall, walk up the to here and then you'll find this behind you. broken this easy breakable bit, but nothing else to do other than to shoot that big pot. It doesn't matter how which arrow you use because they, one of them always isn't good enough. So now we've cleared the entrance where we went up to before. So we've got to go back down again and back to that other entrance on the west side. So once we're outside, jump on your horse. And head to the west. And then climb back up to that one we went in before, that entrance we went in before. Settle down, horse. And up there we go. Now, when you come in here, you will notice that there is a mission marker, and you are quite at liberty to hit that mission marker while you're up here because you don't have to go anywhere else it's all solved in this place I would suggest you probably do but if you want to watch the uh, walkthrough for that then that's going to be after this video we'll come back here because I just don't want to do two missions in one go not really this so is this is where my quest began someone has taken great care of this chamber 
Okay, so we can get the one treasure we need, which is over here. You can see the the second, the, the other uh, quest is nearby. And we're going to light the, the torch. Gatekeeper of the Duat, I honor your name. That is the last torch. I should return to Nefertari. Okay, so once you've done that, you can then fast travel back to the tree. And once you get there, run to the top where the temple idols are. So it's quite a run, but I'm going to speed up the video because it's nothing happens on the way there. You get to these steps and then you run up, basically. What news do you bring? The torches burn with a relentless flame. Then I pray Anubis will grant us pardon. There were charms left beside each one. Does that mean anything to you? Beside the torches? Most likely to ward off the omen. I will keep my eyes open. In the meantime, some rebels nearby need treatment. I normally make the trips, but I am needed here. Sufia has offered to go in my place, but only if you escort her. It will be done. Bayek, I hope this hunt of yours ends soon, before you cannot return from what you have become. And that's it. That's where we're going to end this uh, quest. This quest finished. That's where we're going to end this video as well. So thanks very much for watching. We get another quest when night falls. But until next time, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until then, it's bye for now.